quick 3D scanning test today between Adisoft PhotoScan and Memento. We have the Adisoft PhotoScan here on the left, all made from the exact same photographs. Clean, complete mesh. Did not grab the inside of the foot. We have the Memento over here. Now each one of these softwares has its own unique advantages and disadvantages. Probably the main advantage with Memento being it's computed in the cloud so you can take photographs with your phone and just upload them to the cloud and the cloud will do the processing and stitching the model together for you and it and it'll um, just send it and just re-download the model when you're done. Now add a soft photo scan requires your computer and I've got a nice computer here and it takes quite a bit of processing time and but I do like the tools in Adisoft PhotoScan. So let's go into the workflow. The process with Memento is extremely just intuitive. You just, it's really easy. Grab files. We're going to be using these photographs, same photographs I used in the, um, in the real reality capture Q3D test. All these come out of the Light Studio. One thing I can have not been able to get Memento to stitch the bottom together with the top yet. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to either with this software. Like I said, all these come out of the Light Studio, or Photography Studio for 3D scanning. Yeah, now after you have your photos uploaded here, you just grab them and upload them. And it's simple, you got to create model, enter model name. Have a couple settings there for draft and best. And it just uploads them here to the cloud. It'll take you a few minutes because they're 161 photos. Now I did this one yesterday and this is what it gave me. It only grabbed the top in Memento. When I uploaded all 161 photos, it did not grab the bottom. Or it did not grab the bottom, it only grabbed the top. Rather. So... So after that one failed, I just went ahead with this one and I uploaded only the top photographs and it gave me this one, which I'm actually pretty happy with, but I have to be able to get the bottom in and I'm not sure Memento will be able to do it. But Memento has some nice tools here to edit the mesh. You can grab and um, delete these parts. Not bad. I really like how the textures look. <clears throat> but I'm not as sure about the mesh. It almost looks like these meshes are better than some of the other ones I've seen, like cleaner lines that you can um do retop top set topology on it and get better animations if you want to. There's a name for it in 3D modeling. I, it, I, lose, I forget what it is though. Anyway, you can just export it to um, export 3D model here as OBJ, target face counts. And then you get this one here. No, you get this one. This is what it exported of those top 81 photos. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I mean, it grabs the inside of the fillet. It grabs the, um, that says Istanbul, but you can't really see it. That is what it says, though. I'm going to keep trying with it to see if I can get it to um, auto-stitch the bottom the bottom ring of photos together with the top ring. It might not though, so.
let's move on to add a soft photo scan. Now, photo scan I've been working with for a day or so, and I'll open up my recent project here. I really liked how everything saves in photo scan. It does manage to mesh all the pictures together, top and bottom. It's a simple process here to just add photos, add chunk, and then add these photos. You can see the cameras here in the box. And it automatically error triangulates them for you. Uh, processing time takes about it took about two hours or so with all these pictures here. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turns out. It does not capture the inside of the foot though. So you simply it has a really nice workflow here where you add align photos first. And it'll put all these photos in a ring for you. Yep, oh, messed up my alignment. Yeah, but after you align all the photos, it puts them in a ring. Then you go on the next one of workflow, and it's the build the dense cloud, which gives you all these points here. Next, after you have a dense cloud, you go to the workflow tab, and you go to build mesh. And then it'll give you this mesh after about another 30 minutes of processing time, 45 minutes or so. And it does manage to stitch the bottom of it together, which is what I'm after. I even like that you can choose the target number of faces here when you generate the 3D model. Then after that you build the texture and it applies textures to it. That is a DEM, I'm not sure what that is, tiled model, I'm not sure what either of those are. But after you get to that point, you simply export model, Turkish ashtray, and from that we get this one. Now each one of these has their own unique benefits added soft in Memento. Memento is, as I said, processed in the cloud, so you can't do this kind of work on a cell phone except through a cloud service like Memento, and you can do it that way. The UI is extremely simple and easy to understand on Memento. I really like that. It has quite a bit of a processing time on some of these models. Took a, but it was not it was not processing on my computer, so that's excellent. It has nice scaling and mesh editing tools. I'll show you those here. It has all these tools here that are nice slice and fill surface tools. Even um retopologize tools here, which are excellent to decimate and reduce the amount of um, triangles in your model. Has 3D printing export there. And Agisoft, it looks like it has a ton more features built into it. They've been doing it for a long time, they're experts at it. The workflow is nice and clear. I like the way that you can just decide how many faces you want when you export it. I like the um, arrow triangulation. Grab all the photographs pretty well. I did have the issue where I had to make two chunks. I had to do 
these first. I had to do all these photographs in one batch. So once I ran all these in one batch, it gives you the top. It gave me this half of the circle. And then afterwards, I had to make a separate chunk. And then align these together, do the air triangulation, and it gets all those in a circle. And then after I had the two circles together, I had to take this chunk and align it with the other chunk. And then it gave me the full model that we were after. Uh, the advantages of Adisoft are it's processed on your computer. That can be a good or bad thing. I thought it was a little bit faster than Memento, but it was not as simple as Memento. It had, also has some nice mesh editing tools built into um, Adisoft. Let's see. They have these tools here, this free select tool. Where you can just select everything and clean up any artifacts really fast. I really like that tool they built in there. Yeah, lots of lots of tools built into this one as well. That's really nice. Uh that's 3D scanning comparison between Magento and Adisoft. They are pretty Pretty different, each has its strengths.